Well, I think it's definitely a day to celebrate for the people of Gibraltar and for the civil society groups that took this forward. It's a day where we could very easily, as politicians, take um, the, 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 the chance to capitalize on this moment, but I don't think it's one of those moments at all. This is a moment to celebrate the power and the, the, the force of civil society platforms who um, came with a great victory in spite of bad politics, because obviously, you know, this is something that could have and should have been legislated on the basis of human rights in Parliament and didn't. And in spite of that, civil society groups mobilized. And actually, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Gibraltar Fias uh, campaign and all other affiliated campaigns with that uh, campaigning for choice, because it was them who forced and pushed for this progress and they need to be recognized and they need to be um, acknowledged and I hope that they will stick around to continue to push for equality issues and other issues of progress. So I think it's a day to celebrate our civil society groups um, in a way that uh, we can't celebrate our politicians because of the effect of a referendum which has been taken to the people and outside of the legislature. A pretty convincing win in the end for the S campaign. Turnout, perhaps not what some people were expecting, certainly compared to general elections and the last referendum. What are your thoughts in that area? Well, I think that the reason mainly for the lower turnout that I think presented itself as lower this, this time round, as opposed to the first referendum that never was, I think that has a lot to do with the COVID fatigue and people's saturation generally with messages coming from uh, official and public uh, bodies. I think that people needed that sort of break and felt generally quite disengaged. And I think that most people... Uh, were well, concerned that that would translate into uh, a, a risk for the Yes Camp because obviously the Yes Camp um, needed to mobilize itself to uh, to bring across this change. And when the, the numbers were low, it was a little bit worrying. But look, in the end, they've come through. I think the biggest uh, issue to note that I think we need to deal with as a community is the apparent uh, lack of participation from the younger demographics and their, their, their lack of em feeling enfranchised with the process of a referendum or a political uh, matter of the day. So I think that we really need to look at ourselves as a community and think of how we're going to bring back the youth into the political conversation, into the democratic platform in order for them to be as enfranchised as, as they deserve to be and as we as a community need them to be in order for future issues and ensuring that they are part of that process in the future.